Something grabbed the attention about a week ago. There's been an app floating around and it's called Randonautica. Apparently if the user focuses on something then they'll be taken via a Google Maps page to somewhere related to whatever they're focusing on. Well all of it seems like a bunch of hooey doesn't it? That is until we find out it's based on quantum random numbers from the Australian National University. So right there in the website, they use language that us alternative energy researchers have been laughed at for. Things like, the random numbers are generated in real time in our lab by measuring the quantum fluctuations of the vacuum. And, this result is due to the fact that the vacuum still possesses a zero point energy. It's all gone Tom Bearden, hasn't it? Wonderful stuff. Well, loads of ghosts and paranormal channels have run off with the idea and some seem to think that they have success with it and you look at the footage and you go that's very interesting. And partly because of my own books that I've got on Amazon which isn't a shameless plug, well actually it is, but <laughs> the thing being that Agalia vs Sherlock Holmes deals with time travel, I suppose obviously to get back to the 1800s. We've got Fixing Time that's about Nikola Tesla and uh, travelling around with, well, a quantum computer. And also, of course, Three Paranormal Tales. So, I'm related all over with this subject in what my interests are. Which brings me on, quite neatly, to this thing, which is what I'll explain next. So what have you got there, Slider? Well, what this is, is an ESP32 with a screen on it. It's one of the Helltech Wi-Fi kits. An I2S adapter and a speaker on the back. Um, an ESP266 and uh, other screen will work. You can do this sort of thing for six or seven dollars probably. But what it does is it connects up to the Australian National University, downloads three numbers, then converts those numbers to words or put a table of words in. And it's pretty much like a Frank's box if you've ever used or seen one of those in use where a radio blips about different radio stations very quickly and some people pick up voices and what have you with it. So basically um, it's, it's like a random number generator. You could convert the code into a dice roller or something like that. I mean I will put the code online for anyone to have a look at. So I'll power it up and you'll see what it does and it also speaks the words. Right so each time I press reset it connects up to our home Wi-Fi and then gets the three numbers as fast as that and then it will speak each one. There's a few seconds gap. The first gap. word is numbers. Huh, <laughs> that's related in a way. The second word is hue. The third word is flowers. So yeah, there's a couple of crackles and there's a little bit of a gap while it goes off and translates to speech, but uh, I can certainly live with that. Now if I focus on something, this is the bit isn't it, I'm focusing on something. So if I, well, say if I focus on the word, well, Nikola Tesla. Let's see what happens if we think about Mr. Tesla and what comes back from Australia. So connect up, got the numbers, there we are. Door. The first word is door. Shot. <laughs> uh, okay. The second word is shot. Black. The third word is black. Tenuous, but in the plot of the book, if you have read it. Nikola Tesla does come through time and there's something of the first two words that actually are correct. But as I say, that's that's tenuous. Right, I'm going to think of the colour red, the same as this cloth on the table. Ah, blue, <laughs> complete opposite. The first word is blue. Come on, red. Blue cabinet. The second word is cabinet. Uh, the third word is love well if you're into blue cabinet love that's up to you it's a free country we want red let's go try and get red same as this towel on here goodbye well that did say it was last go but come on now just give us red the first word is goodbye <laughs>
Uh, wait. Okay. For red, maybe? The second word is wait. Kettle. The third word is kettle. So as you can see, it really is kind of random and nothing to do with anything, but uh, I thought people might enjoy that, and indeed the build is, is a bit different. This is the thing, you know, and it depends what you think about quantum interactions, quantum computing, the whole, I don't know, matrix side of it, I suppose, or something. And, uh, well, thanks very much for watching, and I hope you have fun if you do build one. Hang on a minute. Just till the end of this, I just turned the camera off and was about to get up and put the kettle on. Now I see what it's saying. Alright, see you next time.